Okay, we are on chapter 23, continuous charge distribution and Gauss's law. Uh, let's uh, look at the PowerPoint. Uh, that, uh, that doesn't work, I need to share it. Uh, I can't, there we go. Um, continuous charge distributions in Gauss's law. The opening uh, photo is of a moon gate and we'll get to uh, further discussion uh, in order for you to understand this in detail. I think it's uh, example 23.2. Um, it's talking about uh, is it safe to be under the uh, moon gate during a lightning storm? But we're going to talk about uh, electric field of continuous charge distribution. So this uh, kind of beige shape that you have here is a is a charge distribution, and the way we we find out the effect of this charge distribution. We change, take these individual little um, charge, uh, like at, at delta Q1 is a little section of charge at uh, uh, unit vector R1 and Q2, delta Q2 is a, a unit of charge of at R2 and Q3 a unit of charge at uh, R3 and you can see how they uh, delta E is equal to Ke delta Q over R squared R. That's just our uh, Coulomb's law. You know, for uh, Ke, if you recall, Ke is equal to uh, 8.99 times 10 to the ninth Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared. So you, you just, uh, a single one of these, the delta E is equal to, equal to Ke delta Q Q1, Q2, Q, whatever, times uh, uh, the, the that particular radius, R1, R2, or R3 squared at the unit vector R1, 2, or 3 in the direction that you give it. And you sum all of these together, and you get the total electric field. Um, and if we take the limit as the Q, uh, approaches zero, you have, uh, you end up with the in, Ke times the integral of dq r squared times r. Um, so uh, basically it, it's, it's one thing if you have like different charges isolated in areas, but if you have a charge distribution, you have to take the integral of it to get the, uh, the total charge. Now, uh, the, there's a charge density. If we have a volume, uh, the, the charge density is rho, and it's the Q, which is overall charge, divided by the volume. If you have an area, it's, uh, it's, uh, sigma there, it's uh, Q divided by the area. Uh, and if you have a, a line, it's lambda um, over L. So. Uh, for the volume, D, dq is equal to rho dv. Uh, for the surface, it's dq is equal to rho dA, uh, the charge density times the, the little bit of area. And the linear is dq equals the lambda times the little bit of dL. Uh, that's your uh, charge density. Oops. So when, when uh, to to solve these problems, when you you conceptualize, you visualize uh, the problem. You visualize the the problem where the electric field may be, and you you appeal to symmetry uh, for most of these cases. Now, to be honest with you, I don't think I've even assigned a homework problem on these, but I did uh, on this first section. I did on uh, uh, sections uh, two point, I mean twenty three point two and twenty three point three. Um, so uh, uh, we'll, I'll just go through this r rapidly. You categorize whether it's a group of individual charges or whether it's a, a charge distribution. And if it's uh, to analyze, it's, it, so if it's a group of individual, individual charges, you just use the sup superposition principle where you add up the, all the, the, uh, the, add up all the charges vectorially. Uh, and if it's if it's a uh, charge distribution, then you integrate over the uh, charge distribution. 
And when you finalize, you want to you see if it's consistent with your uh, visualization, visualization. And then you also take extremes. Like you, you take it to one end and see what the result is. You take it to the other end and see what the other is. It's a very common um, method in physics. So back to the moon gate. If you study, uh, I'm not going to go through it. And uh, if you study the moon gate uh, example, it's I think an example 23. Uh, two, uh, you'll see that they come up with a uh, an equation E is equal to K E X divided by A A squared plus X squared to the three halves times Q, where the um, the A is I believe the the radius of the moon gate and the X is where you're placed. And there's a there's a if you're under one of the circles, you you're right at the center. There's no charge distribution but you get a charge distribution from the from the other and if you're approaching uh because you can see there's two circles there if you're approaching the moon gate there you go through a peak before you get into a safe area so their conclusion is the best thing to do is run away from the moon gate uh read read through example 23 2 and the little paragraph afterwards um and that's it for uh for this first opening section We'll go on with uh, uh, the next section, which is electric flux. Um, 